the 4th of July. Their hate for President Trump is clouding their love for this country. This is a salute to America. Leave it to the left to be against the salute to America. We shouldn't be surprised because they won't stand for the national anthem. They're upset with a flag, an American flag on a shoe. And now they can't stand the salute to America, which is literally the title of this event as we celebrate Laughable. our military. Leave it to the left to be unpatriotic the day before and the day of 4th yeah. of July. Yeah. I hate to say that, that anyone's being unpatriotic, but it's true. I mean, just just enjoy today. Today doesn't have to be political. It doesn't have to be about scoring political mm. points. This is a day for everyone to come together, celebrate the country, and just stop trying to score those 2020 points. Do it on a different day. And, and it's called salute to America as a reminder. I don't really understand the point of, oh, it, President Trump thinks it's his birthday. It's not owed to President Trump. He happens to be the commander of chief, and it happens to be the 4th of July Independence Day. And it's called Salute to America. Who better than to make that salute than, than the commander in chief? Well, he's got George Washington's job. That's right. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> if you actually think back, that is the job that Donald Trump currently has today. Yeah. Fly that flag big and proud, whether it has 50 stars or 13 on mm. it in a circle. Think about what happened on the eve of this holiday with Nike deciding to pull those sneakers with the Betsy Ross flag, all because of Colin Kaepernick and his protest. We did a little bit of research. It turns out President Obama, his inaugural, you see the sneakers there. There's a Betsy Ross flag. It's I want a pair of those so bad. The country right now. Look at the, at the Obama inaugural in 2009. A whole host of flags, at least one of them right up there in the Capitol. Two of them, Betsy. actually, oh, yeah, on either side. One on each side. Yeah. The Betsy Ross flag. The 2013 inaugural as well. So if it was good enough for Barack Obama's inaugurals, both of them, <laughs> how, how is it now all of a sudden this racist, office, awful symbol mm -hmm. if for the Obama and previous inaugurals and the ones at, that come after, this flag is, is flying proudly? Yeah, it's selective it's outrage. Because it's the same thing that's going on.